Hello Pisces, this is Renee and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Keep hitting that like button and subscribing. It does a wonderful, it has a wonderful impact on my channel. I appreciate all of your support, all of your good interactions, all of your beautiful comments. Okay, Pisces, what do we have for January 2023, the 1st through the 15th? What do we have for January? The moon. Okay, so you're coming out strong, Pisces. And I feel like the first card out is always a Pisces card. Very interesting. You have the Three of Cups. You have the... Nine of Swords. You have the World card. You have this card. Okay. You have the Seven of Swords. You have the Two of Wands. What plans are you making, Pisces? Are you looking towards the future here? You have the Four of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Wands. So definitely some kind of communication and some kind of action you're taking. The Page of Swords. And the Hierophants. Okay. And what you don't see on the bottom, you have the Justice card. So yeah, this is Libra energy, Pisces. Um, maybe a Libra that may be influencing you at the moment, but I feel like this is karma coming through for you. And I feel like you're, you have this karmic energy around you, Pisces, and I feel like success is coming. I feel like this is going to be the year for you to be very successful. Even if you don't feel it right now, I feel like with hard work and dedication, I feel like success is coming for all the hard work and all the progress that you're making. And I feel like the more that you feel that, the more that you see that. You also have the Two of Cups. So definitely some kind of love situation coming in for you. This may be something that you've been building upon. Mm. But I feel like you're not jumping into it very hasty. I feel like you're really thinking through this situation. You're, you're putting a lot of thought into your actions right now, Pisces. Definitely. And, okay, let's see here. We're going to move this over here to the side. Okay, Pisces, you have the Moon card and you have the Three of Cups. Definitely feel like this is strong energy for you, Pisces. This is your card. This is you stepping out. And, uh, you know, it seems like every time I do your readings, you are the first thing to pop out. Um, in a very strong position. But I feel like, you know, with this moon card, I feel like this may be some kind of challenges that you're going through. And I feel like Pisces, you know, whatever challenges you face, you're not... These challenges aren't new challenges, and I feel like any challenges that always come your way, I feel like you are, you overcome these challenges. You find support. You find these resources. You are able to celebrate your successes. And I, I feel like that's what you're doing, Pisces. I feel like you're being very social. You're celebrating. You're celebrating some, some kind of situation. You have the Nine of Swords. So I definitely feel like when you hit tough times, Pisces, I feel like you go deep. You may, with Pisces, okay, let me explain. With Pisces, Pisces have very high highs, but they also have very low lows. So I feel like 
when you come into a challenge before you even think about a response to it before you even think about how you can get past this challenge this obstacle you fall into some sort of anxiety some sort of depression but i feel like you're waking up from that you're you're coming out of that and it could be that you need to really take a look at your mental state and I'm not saying that you're crazy or anything like that, Pisces. I feel like you're very successful. You are a person that's very triumphant. You overcome whatever comes your way, Pisces. And I feel like you're coming into this, figuring out where all these obstacles are coming from, where any challenges are coming from. And I feel like you are finding really big solutions um, to the problems that you're facing and you are beginning to move on those. This could also be you traveling this year, Pisces. You may be doing a lot of travel, but I feel like this is you finding answers and really moving into a new direction. You're being redirected, Pisces. Now, you also have the Seven of Swords. So, Pisces, what may be making you anxious is... Someone that you're dealing with that you feel like they're running away from the situation. You feel like they're not staying put to really deal with any obstacles or challenges they kind of leave when the going gets tough this may be your energy pisces but i feel like this is someone else um i feel like this is someone who gives up at a challenge they don't really follow through Okay, you have the Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So definitely, um, I feel like you're, you're waiting for something to happen here. You're waiting for results. You may be waiting for results for some kind of situation that you were hoping to be long term. But I feel like you're planning. You're planning something out, Pisces. And for some of you, now this may be for just a few, but I feel like you are, you're planning to hold something all to yourself. You kind of want to be greedy with this thing that you have. You're holding it all to yourself. Hmm. As always, an interesting message, Pisces. But I feel like some communication is coming through. You're going to receive some sort of message, some sort of message that's going to bring you a lot of curiosity about a situation. You're going to find some truth in the situation. I feel like you're researching something. You're, hmm, you're trying to find out the truth in a situation. And I feel like with the actions that you're taking, I feel like you're going to find the truth to the situation because you're curious. You're going to figure it out. You're going to feel enlightened by this truth situation coming through for you. And you have the Hierophants. So I definitely feel like, you know, you are... You're doing something out of the ordinary, Pisces. You're not following these traditions. 
you're not following something the same as society is what I'm a very odd message Pisces very odd message give me a little bit of clarity about the situation Pisces has me all over the place with this reading tell me more about this what is the outcome for the situation for January 1st through the 15th for Pisces yeah you have the four of Pentacles again so definitely I definitely feel like you're if this is an incoming uh, situation I feel like you're being a little selfish here Pisces you're holding something all to yourself you don't want to share anything very interesting you have the ace of wands and the emperor so you're definitely taking control and I feel like you are con trying to control the situation you're trying to come up with a plan to really figure this out Page of Swords again. Okay, definitely. This may be someone who, who's talking about you and you're taking control of this situation. Someone is spying on you, Pisces. Someone's spying on you and you see what they're doing. I feel like you're like, you know, Pisces is not doing anything to anybody. Why do they want to mess with Pisces? You know, that's how I'm feeling in this situation. I feel like you're, you're finding out about this situation because you're being curious. Maybe you're going on someone else's page and social media, or maybe you're coming across this information just by chance but I feel like someone's talking about you someone is gossiping about Pisces and you come across this information very curiously but I feel like whatever this is you're gonna put a stop to it this is something that's gonna change it's gonna bring a lot of change to you and I feel like you're going to be defending yourself. You're going to be standing up for yourself. You're going to be speaking out. I don't think Pisces is going to be holding back anything that you feel. Because you want control of the situation. You definitely want control of the situation. Okay. You know what? We need some more clarity on this. Tell me more about this for Pisces. The Ten of Cups. The Three of Pentacles and the Chariot. Okay, whatever the situation is, Pisces, I feel like you just don't care. It's not going to bring you down. It's not going to touch you in any way. You're like, whatever. It is what it is. And I'm just going to go up about my way. I'm not even going to let this influence me. I'm not going to let this bring me down. I'm just going to keep moving. And... I mean, it, it's not taking away anything from you. I feel like you're supported. You have your chosen people on your side to give you support. And I feel like whatever this is, you're, you're moving through it with skill and, and clarity. You're moving into a new direction, definitely. 
I feel like you're moving on saying, you know, whatever. You know, they, they don't have anything to say. Their life is like this or, you know, they, they can't say anything about how I'm doing things because they're not even doing the right thing. Yeah, I, I feel like you're really sticking up for yourself. You're standing on what you believe, Pisces. And I really feel like this tower is you cutting these people out of your life. You're, you're not going to let this influence you. You're not going to let this change your direction or ruin your... Um, ruin your outlook on this month. Okay, we have meditation brings answers. Yeah, so I, you know what, Pisces, you know, you're very intuitive. You can find the answers. You can find the secrets to any kind of situation because you have the intuition that's instilled in you naturally by your sign. So these answers will come to you. And big happy changes. Yeah, this is this Ten of Cups card. So I feel like nothing is going to impact you. At the bottom, you have no need to worry. You got this. Success is going to come for Pisces no matter what. Definitely. Pisces cannot be touched. What monology cards do we have for Pisces? We have show the world the real you. Yeah, stand on what you know, Pisces. Show them that you are successful. You are Pisces, almighty, mighty Pisces. And a new romantic cycle begins. So someone new may be coming into your life. And you also have confidence is the key to your success. So you have the strength of Leo. At the bottom, you have it's time to release negativity. So definitely, you know what? Those people who have nothing good to say about Pisces, who have nothing good to say about your efforts, about your hard work, release that energy. They don't mean you any good anyway. Release that energy and build upon Pisces. Keep flowing, Pisces. Hey, you have first quarter moon in Pisces. What did I tell you? Pisces is always coming out very strong. Honor your feelings. Yeah, you know, especially with this, this Nine of Swords energy. You know, whatever feelings that you're feeling, whatever anxiety that you have, honor that anxiety and then release it. Honor your feelings. Honor how you're feeling at the moment. And then release anything that needs to be released from your life, from your feelings. You also have last quarter moon in Sagittarius. Practice gratitude. Yes, Pisces, be thankful for everything that you have, everything that's coming through. You are mighty, mighty Pisces. And you have last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less, feel more. You may need to meditate. You may need to really like it was saying, honor how you feel. Take notice and release what needs to be released out of your life. Okay, Pisces, what else do we have for Pisces? We have Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. Remember that the only, that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has you back. Spirit has protection. You have divine protection wrapped around you, Pisces. And you have Mary Magdalene, Teacher Awakens. Yeah, that's this Hierophant energy. You have something important to share. Follow your inner calling and don't let anything stop you. Definitely. And you have Radha, Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. Definitely. Okay, Pisces, that's what I have for you. In the comment section below, if you uh, would put in the comments, 
follow the inner inner calling. Follow your inner calling, Pisces. Follow your intuition. Okay, Pisces, this is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Okay, Pisces, this is your reading. So in the comment section below, write in there. Follow your inner calling. Follow your intuition. And Pisces, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't um, miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Happy New Year, Pisces. Many blessings to you. Love and light.